Hello, hello, hello. I am Elizabeth Ramona, and um, I pulled a card for uh, for a reason. It actually kind of popped out. And again, I'm using uh, Dorian Virtue's uh, fairy uh, cards. I love them, oracle cards. And this one is um, Rise Above Problems. And I love the fact that it's in purple, and she's kind of flying, but there's still the earth there. And her dress looks like water. Um, and it's just beautiful. So rise above a problem. We all have problems. We all have challenges. Um, I think, I like to think that everything is a challenge, but we do have problems. And I think that they, they're problems because we, we can't bring them to the challenge category yet <laughs> because we, we're, we're kind of locked into not knowing where to go with it. You know, it's kind of like when something first hits you, Obviously, everybody reacts differently. Um, you kind of either do something right away to alleviate if it's pain or, you know, something that needs to be done quick. You pull somebody away from danger or things like that. Or if it's a, a dilemma, which direction do I go in, you know. And until you kind of can sort out the emotions of it and the shock of it, um, you can't get to that challenge stage where you can say, okay, I have this challenge. Where can I go from here with it? You know, how can I take responsibility for what's my responsibility? And then how do I find avenues to change it? So um, rise above problems. Uh, the card comes with it. It says, when you're in the middle of a problem, the solution often evades you. Uh, see your situation from a higher perspective. Well, I guess that's kind of why she's flying up in the air, right? If you kind of bring yourself above the ground while staying grounded. So a couple rocks in your pocket and then <laughs> kind of go up. Uh, see your situation from a higher perspective and you will see a new way out of that situation or through that situation. So the card says, have you been feeling frightened by a seemingly unsurmountable situation? Your fears and tension may have created a negative obsession where you think about the problem continually. Although you search endlessly for solutions, none seem forthcoming. The hopelessness creeps into your consciousness. Whether your situation seems big or small, this card asks you to step back for an instant so that you can better see creative solutions. Instead of continually working on the issue, mentally seeing yourself giving the problems to heaven's awaiting hands, like completely letting go of an envelope, when you're mailing it, you surrender the issue completely. A lot of people, too, write down what their problem is. And then once they've written it all on paper, it's another form of release using a physical connection, the mind and the body, to write it all down, allowing it to come right through your hand onto the paper. And then they sit with it for a minute, and then they burn it. And they say, I release this. Or you can sit down in prayer and pray, give it to your angels, fairies, whatever you believe in, goddesses, and let it go. With the affirmation that you are opening yourself up to an answer. You know, as I always do, help me, Archangel Michael, to help myself to find this answer. And I can keep him really busy sometimes, but it's all good. Because <laughs> he reminds me with my app. <laughs> That he can be everywhere all the time. <laughs> so, it says, like completely letting go of an envelope when you're mailing it, surrender the issue completely. Then imagine how the fairies might see your problem. How would your problem look from their perspective? Feel the sense of faith and hope, hopefulness that they lead, lend to you and know that these positive emotions fuel the complete resolution of your issue. So again, uh, burning it can do that. Uh, if you're going to release something, that's an awesome thing to do. Whatever mechanism works for you. Uh, some people just need to release their thought stream. So that's again why they may go into meditation as a way to still the mind. So the mind will be running. They'll just take that breath, hold it. them blow out, you know, that stream of whatever they're thinking about, or they just might clear their mind and reset. Sometimes if you 
you know, if you're at work, you're doing something very dil diligently and you just can't get it right. Keyboard's not working or whatever you're doing. You're putting things in order. It's just not working. Sometimes you just step away, change your perspective, do something else, come back. And you can just write, get right back into that groove. Same thing with writing. Sometimes you're writing like mad. You got a lot of ideas. Things are coming to you. Oh, yeah, it's working good. Yeah, And then all of a sudden, everything kind of like slips away, falls apart. Take a break. Go do something else. Put your hands in the earth. Um, light a candle. Do a prayer. Uh, do the rosary. Find a distraction um, just to give yourself something physically, mentally. Uh, do something heart-centered. And then come back and see you renewed yourself. Sometimes it's simply you need to eat or drink something too. But again, when it's that problem, an affirmation, my heart and mind and my life and everyone in it are perfectly at peace now. So this is a kind of like a reset button. You know, if you're really focusing with any kind of anxiety or stress on a problem that you that you know you may not have an answer to right away, or you just cannot get an answer to. Sometimes it's, it's just reboot, just reboot, just shut everything down, and then release it, let it go. And then, so important, so important that affirmation. Um, give yourself that affirmation so you can reset yourself into that new line. And if you don't use affirmations and you use prayers, find a prayer. Find a prayer that works for you, that can, can give you that shift that you need. Be patient with yourself and give yourself time. Um, this prayer um, came, I, I had it in my Bible here. It's a little card. And um, it says, my Lord God, I have no idea where I am going. I do not see the road ahead of me. I cannot know for certain where it will end. This popped out with the card, so... This is, where it's, this is where it's coming from. Uh, nor do I really know myself. And the fact that I think that I am following your will does not mean that I am actually doing so. But I believe that the desire to please you does, in fact, please you. And I hope I have that desire in all that I am doing. I hope that I will never do anything apart from that desire. And I know that if I do this, you will lead me by the right road, though I may not know anything about it. Therefore, I will trust you always, though I may seem to be lost and in the shadows. I will not fear, for you are ever with me, and you will never leave me in the face of my perils alone. So that's an adaptation from Thomas Metrone. And uh, it, it, I can't make this. I mean, it's just co coincidence. I you know, Call it what you want. <laughs> but that was the card, and that was the prayer. And what did I find? Lavender. My lavender essential oil. For some reason, I had left it on the table this morning. And lavender is a very soothing scent. It's a very hearty herb. Uh, it likes sun, but it can grow in part sun. <clears throat> it's got great roots beautiful beautiful flowering of purple and again purple on the card purple is a high energy color um it's uh again bringing you up to that higher realm so it was the color the color the essential oil the smell it's such an earthy smell lavender it's beautiful um, but at the same time it's a nice scent it's a pleasant scent and it's it's not flowery flowery, so it can be used by anyone. So take a little lavender, um, put it on even as something as small as a tissue. A tissue, you know, so you can smell it, put it in your pocket. Uh, I love to put, take a little cloth and put it in my pillow uh, when I'm sleeping, as long as the scent's not too strong um, for you. That's another great thing to do. I sleep with prayers under my pillow. I really believe, you know, we spend a lot of time sleeping and we can resolve a lot of things or just relax ourselves when we sleep. If we go to sleep with an intention of, you know, I am opening my God or goddess, um, Jesus, Buddha. I, I am opening myself up, um, Muhammad, whoever you believe in, uh, you know, I'm not going to dictate. Um, I'm opening myself up 
to the grace and the light and the love and the highest of the high blessings for me to find and be open to the answers that are coming to me for this situation, for this problem that will become a challenge, that will become a great learning thing, and then I'm going to be moving forward. So I, it's just awesome. Awesome. So we all have problems. It's, it's how we deal with them. It's how we can um, move away. It's our faith. It's our belief. It's how we can reboot um, to face uh, the problem and allow the answer to come to us. Be patient with ourselves um, while we do so, and it will uh, resolve itself. So I hope that's been helpful. I know it certainly was for me. Um, and if, if drawing helps you um, to release things, then draw. If drawing something pleasant helps you, um, then please do so. Allow yourself to be creative um, as you're shifting grooves and rebooting um, so that you don't stay too focused on something. Sometimes the answers don't come right away. Sometimes they do. When they do, it's easy peasy. You know, <laughs> It's just like, I'm like, okay, yeah, I got that answer. And yes, I know how I can take a step to start to do something. And then that just gets that ball rolling. But sometimes, you know, you're just in that mode after the shock mode um, after the emotional mode <laughs> you're in that what feels like you're stuck mode or fear mode fear false evidence appearing real I'll say it again fear false evidence appearing real and that's when your faith that's when your affirmations come in that's when prayer meditation reboot all helps you to focus on the now you know, what is actually happening now and how can I take the steps necessary, open myself up, be peaceful, be calm while I'm working and the angels are working or your beliefs are working um, and you're working too by just affirming that you are um, looking to work through whatever that problem is and stay as joyous and happy as you can. Um, because that will also attract to you uh, those happy things, happy moments. And it'll help you to keep the gratitude, that attitude of gratitude. Uh, and that's really important um, as you're trying to move through and face problems and challenges um, in life. So I wish you a blessed week and much light and love. And may all your problems be small. Uh, and the road always rise up to meet you and the sun always be upon you just warm enough for you to feel the great grace of nature and love and light. Many blessings. Thank you.